each and every component of this site and understanding the different aspect of it. So as you can see, I opened my admin console. This is a new tab which is opening admin console. Uh, as you can see, the URL it is APN community forward slash suit forward slash admin. So that means basically this is my suit. This is my entire package uh, which is held by a unique URL and it is navigating to the different sections of the URL corresponding to my account. So basically, uh, admin console stands for uh, like, let me explain you with an example. Uh, if you are into APN technology, so you will be dealing with APN developers in your company and uh, APN admins in your company and APN support. So basically, there are three different roles when you are dealing with APN as a software platform. So there is a team of developers who develop applications on APN. There is a team of support guys who give support to developed applications with small some, some, some of the small changes and tweaks. And there is a team of administrators who just set up the application to start development. So this is basically a console of administration where you have to set up the basic details of what project you are starting up, what should be the color of the navigation bar, what should be the logo, what should be the URL, what should be the fav icon. Fav icon is icon on this this part. The small a you see you are seeing this is called fav icon. So what, what will be the website banner, what will be the navigation colors, what will be the email colors, what will be the background color, what will be the progress bar color. So all those administrative things which you need to modify and set up as a standard in your applications is, uh, is uh, set here. So you can modify here. You can also put some different uh, settings on when you are into mobile, like if you are using APN URL on mobile, so what will be the behavior of the application, how the things will be stack on, what will be the responsive behavior and uh, there are different permissions that you need to access if there will be an uh, if you are making an application for mobile as a standard so will that does it require any n number of permissions so you can set it there and there are different plugins there are two types of plugins one one are free plugins one are paid plugins so if you want to install any plugin if if your business requirement is such that you need to have a third party plugin to be installed in the application so that is that all work is ha has to be done on a central system which is called admin panel. So admin is the person who will manage all those installations of third party plugins, all those uh, amendments as a standard of uh, color, height, size and third party permissions, authentication, deployment of the application, infrastructure of the application, uh, certifications of the software and uh, proxy servers where application will go through uh, as a request application website so as you can see there are n number of options i am an apn developer so we'll be focusing more on apn designer which i'll be covering on next video this is just for your knowledge that how things work in an organization and how you will be dealing if you are if you are going to be an apn developer or if you are currently starting out as an apn developer so this is it mm -hmm.